Okay, so I got a new project to do uh, quickly today here. Uh, it's to fix this Xbox 360 for a customer. Uh, what's happening with it is he puts in the drive, the drive kicks itself back out. Uh, DVD, of course. Uh, HD, DVD, whatever the hell they are. So it keeps on popping in, popping out. He puts it in. Uh, sometimes it works, but most of the time it just kicks the CD right back out. Uh, I have fixed a few of them that had this issue. Uh, the older generation ones, I believe, had a magnet uh, on top of the drive. The newer ones have a little micro switch, kind of a little toggle switch on the top. Uh, so that switch is malfunctioning or something along that lines. Uh, so make a video showing uh, pretty much how I fix it. Pretty much uh, the issue with this one is uh, you put in the drive and it says closing and then it bounces back to opening and sometimes it pops open and closed, open and closed, closed. Uh, sometimes it doesn't do it. Okay, so I decided not to put the video showing how to pull it all apart. Uh, it's pretty super obvious. Uh, the trick is to get off your uh, covers on the very ends and then you shove a screwdriver into each of these corners here and pretty much you pry off your entire top. Okay, as long as the phone doesn't ring again. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is show you. Okay, so here's the drive. Uh, you can see what model number it is if you care. Uh, but anyway, you'll hear what I mean about the magnet. Uh, sometimes this is even a little clip. Probably not showing up on the camera. Oh, did it, got it. Oh, there it goes. Don't know if you can hear that, but you can actually hear it bouncing around inside there loose. So the fun part now is taking apart the drive, which actually isn't that fun, but uh, it's actually fairly easy, I guess. So I'll start the camera again when I have it apart. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get a little bit of a better picture. So I got the drive apart. They just pop apart pretty easy. Four Phillips screws. Uh, but actually what happened on this one here is that is the little micro switch there. Uh, basically, this little clip right here. I know it's not going to be in focus, but whatever. That little clip right there broke off the other side of that little micro switch. Kind of see it on the side there, see if I could focus it in a little bit better right there. So because that broke, that's the micro switch here. That uh, You can see a little micro switch here. You can see right on that other side right there, how it, the clip's broken physically off it. Pretty much what I'm going to do is epoxy it back into place without getting the actual full switch covered in epoxy. So if you look from this side here, there's nothing really exposed. So that's I'm going to epoxy it from that side. So I'm going to give that a try, and I'm sure it's never going to go anywhere. So and when I say epoxy, actually I should say I'm going to use uh, the yellow hot glue sticks. Once I glue it into place, there it's never coming out of there. So so and this little piece was what was rattling around. So you can kind of see now where the clip's uh, meant to go on there. So if you have a problem with your door opening, uh, this is one of the newer generation Xboxes. Okay, so I have the hot glue on there. As you can see, I never got... I can focus this a bit better. No, you can't really see. Let's see. That's probably a bit better there. Yes, I'm just using my iPhone for this, so it's not the best video. But where is um, where's my finger? right there in front of my fingernail no glue in there because that's where the actual physical switch moves uh, so I epoxied all around it there uh, actually just kinda hot glue but it's a uh, industrial strength hot glue so can't really st uh, see in there but that's going to fix uh, that problem uh, of course nice rock hard uh, blah. well now the fun part is put it back together and then I'll take probably a half an hour break and uh, play it on the TV. Well, computer monitor, but whatever. Uh, it's playing the game now, no problem. Uh, just rebooted it after playing for uh, a little bit, so gave it about a 10 minute uh, trial. 
I'm going to reboot it again, try it a little bit longer. Uh, I don't even know what this game is. I don't really play many games, so... <laughs> Oh, let's see if I can... Uh, nah, I don't want to go online. Single player. So, I don't even know if that's a game that he probably got with it. I have no idea. The only games I play is Call of Duty, and I play it for PlayStation 3. Uh, Dust Shield, uh, stop some vibration, I guess, from the drive bay. Uh, I'll be able to pull that, uh, push that apart. I just had to open the drive before I could do it. So, yeah, let's see if it opens with the game in the middle of the plane. There we go. So now I'll stick that back onto there. Hopefully it sticks on good. Uh, and also before it used to open the drive, it used to shut again. And once again, there's the phone. And it's just my boss calling. I should ignore him, but I'm not going to. 